it's ready, if the reload is ready, we'll send them back into the timeout loop. This particular part should clear out the smaller husk, but we have smashers which will make it through. So when they come up here, we have these five impact floor launchers sending them up, sending them down into this timeout room. The sa same as this three impact double reload vulnerability wall launchers sending them into this timeout room. This one, same, three impact sending them down. This one is uh, five impact, so you can like win more time, like if you have a, a mini boss wave on this amplifier, you can like uh, knock him back the big husk so to have more, more, a longer path to walk. And five impact launcher should send them down here to the no timeout room. And we have five impact, five impact, five impact, five impact five impact launchers sending them up into the sky for the fall damage we have these turned up floor, floor tiles which will block pretty much smashers so they don't charge at the builds for the amplifiers and uh, for the amplifier itself so yeah so we got this huge amount of block off you can see a row of four upturned cones. We have two normal floor pieces here, one upturned, one diagonal. Wall off around it. Same as here. We have a uh, wall around it. No floor piece, no floor piece, but this one is the diagonal one. Then we have the diagonal and the one side upturned, uh, what do you call that, cone. This one, the normal floor piece, forgot to upgrade that one. Upturned cone, one direction. Then we got this spot here, just normal floor pieces. Forgot to upgrade these two, nice. One upturned floor piece, diagonal one, and then normal floor pieces. Is it like that? I don't know. Uh, this wall, not necessary. Oh, then we got this uh, this upturned cones for the launchers to work. This one is not necessary. Sorry. And we got this upturned cone, a full sandwich. I think that's how we call them. Down here, diagonal floor piece, upturned cone, wall off, wall off, wall off, wall off without any cone, same as here, same as here, same as here. So these, these floor pieces are important for lava ball shifting. Like if you have these, you will shift your lava ball to this location or to this one, right in front of the wall off. And we got a normal wall off with a ramp, upturned floor pieces, and a wall. Nothing, nothing too crucial. And we got this uh, wall off with floor pieces, cones, wall, floor pieces, cone. Yeah. That's pretty much it. 
As you can see, there's the lava ball, shift it. And yeah, we also got this particular spot with the wall. It's uh, important so they don't want to go through this part and break the block offs. Yeah. This part over here. You may see them walk over to this spot. What you could do is uh, put wall launchers on these walls yeah, so they get good. launched back, put gas traps up above so they get launched back and damaged. Sorry. But I'm low on structures so I can't really play around with traps. So yeah. What we also got here is uh, a wall off. We got upturned slug pieces. Uh. These showing towards the spawn. These ones showing towards the amplifier. Diagonal one. Uh, also upturned slug piece. We got the cones attached to the walls. Like if you have a corner, you have three, three, three squares out. If you have this type of corner, you have only one up. Yeah. So we have this free spot here. Just walled it off. Normal block off here. Floor pieces. Forgot to edit this one. Upturned the same as here with walls in front of it. And then we have the cones and floor pieces and a wall. Huh. I mean, a wall and we have cones inside it, floor pieces. And two walls behind it. So they shouldn't break through. Like the block off should be holding okay. them back from breaking it. So I'll like sum it up again. We got this recycling system here with wall launchers, wall lights, wall launchers, gas trap to damage them. We got this huge, um, huge timeout room with the five impact wall launchers to send them back. Wall dice there for them pathing us to like damage it. You can put broadsides here if you have the structures left. Three impact wall launchers sending them back. Recycling system with wall launchers and floor launchers, as you can see. This wall launcher is not necessarily needed, but since I have a five impact wall launcher here, as you can see, one tiles, two tiles, three, one, two, three, four, five. So the husk will land here, <coughs> and to give him more more like more passing you can like send him back to this part here and then we got the five impact floor launchers to like give him some decent amount of fall damage mm -mm. 